Hey guys, this is Vinny and I went and I'm talking about CD Projekt Red. Now most of you probably heard by now that CD Projekt Red is getting sued, alleging that CD Projekt Red failed to convey that the game was virtually unplayable and instead marketed it as a success with a few issues that would go unnoticed by players. So Andrew Tramp is the plaintiff and he's one of the investors and apparently he's looking to include other investors in the suit to turn it into a class action, right? CD Projekt Red said in a court filing it would vigorously defend itself against the investors' claims, Bloomberg reported. Now, here's the thing. I don't see CD Projekt Red having much of a leg to stand on here. D Listen, I did graduate with a bachelor's degree in law, but I don't practice law and I'm not that... I'm, I'm, def I'm, I'm definitely not as well-versed as I used to be, but... The thing is that when the CEO says that the game runs surprisingly good, I would say for such a huge world, and he was talking about the base PS4 and Xbox One consoles, and then they released that, which I haven't played the game. I don't plan on getting or anything, but just I'm just basing this off of what I've seen like in articles and I guess videos and whatnot, right? I'm not sure how CD Projekt Red expects to vigorously defend itself against these claims. Maybe they're looking for a loophole or something like that, but... I think this will end up just in a settlement between them and the investors. I don't see this really going to court and all this different type of stuff happen. I really don't see much. I, I really see this more just ending up in a settlement. Now, I could be wrong. God only knows how this is going to turn out. But I really just don't see a leg for CD Projekt Red to stand on here. You admit it. I'm going to read from what happened at the emergency investors meeting said by Adam Kikinski. I probably pronounced the name wrong. But you admit we ignored the signals about the need for additional time to refine the game on the base last gen consoles this is after the ceo made the statement about them running surprisingly well i would say for such a huge world basically he made the ceo kind of lied I, I don't think it'll work out well for cd project red if this lawsuit actually goes to court and everything i just do not see that working out well for them but what do you guys think do you guys think that cd project red has much of a defense or that the investor really has a legit reason for suing the company and do you guys think other investors will jump on this as well let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like share, and subscribe and god bless you all